Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Ashraf. And we're going to show you just how easy it is to learn CPR. CPR is short for cardiopulmonary resuscitation, so it's no wonder people call it CPR. What it's reminding you to do is call, push, rescue. CPR is something very simple and easy to learn, something that you can do to keep blood flowing to a person's body and brain when their heart has stopped beating. This is known as a cardiac arrest. A cardiac arrest is the ultimate medical emergency, and without immediate help, that person will not survive. Now, there are lots of myths around CPR that often stop people from getting involved and trying resuscitation. They're afraid they'll hurt the person or make the situation worse. But if that person has had a cardiac arrest, they will die within minutes unless someone helps them immediately. So there really is nothing to lose by trying. And don't worry about breaking ribs. It's possible this could happen, but a broken rib is far better than not surviving. The chances are you're most likely to have to resuscitate someone you know, like a friend or a family member. We'll also talk you through how to do CPR on a child and how to use a defibrillator, known as a public access defibrillator. Public access defibrillators are available for any member of the public to use in the event of a cardiac arrest. So if you do happen to be in the right place at the right time, we really want you to feel confident about getting involved. Because the worst thing you can do is nothing. To get started, you need to get your mannequin ready. You'll find it in your Call Push Rescue Kit. This personal training mannequin is specially designed to help you learn the basics of CPR. So, first of all, you'll need to take your mannequin out of its bag and unfold it so we can show you how to get it ready. When you've got your mannequin out of the bag, find the inflation tube, which is on the back, and fold it up like this to expose the tube. You'll see the inflation tube has two nozzles. You need to insert the shorter one into the inflation tube like this. This is a one-way valve, which means it allows air to go in, but not to come out. Make sure it is pushed in fully. Then open up the pump bag so that it fills with air. And connect it firmly to the mannequin by pushing the inflation tube into the hole at the bottom of the bag. You then need to roll the bag down from the top to trap the air that will inflate your mannequin. Keep rolling and pushing to inflate. When your mannequin is fully inflated, you can disconnect the inflation tube from the bag and insert the dust cap. Be careful not to let the one-way valve pop out. You might need to hold it in place while you disconnect the inflation tube. Now you should be ready to go. If you have a big bag with either five or ten mannequins in, then you might want to use the pump that's included in the kit. You'll find instructions for this with the information that comes with the kit. Our goal is to give you plenty of practice doing CPR and, as we go along, we'll be giving you some tips to help you fine-tune your skills. You'll catch on quickly. It really is quite simple. OK, let's start practising. First, place your mannequin in front of you, like this. The mannequin's chest should be at your knees, with its head to one side. Now, to help you practise more easily, there's a little tab under the chest which says hard and soft. Can you see it? When it's pulled out, it activates a clicker that helps you know how hard and deep to push. But you can turn the clicker sound off by pushing the tab in, like this. But let's leave it on for now. Make sure it's pulled out so the word hard is showing. Now, when you press down deep enough, you'll hear a click. Let's warm up with one of the most important parts first, which is pushing on the chest. Watch Ashraf to see where your hands should be placed. 
place the heel of one hand on the center of the chest. Place the heel of the other hand on top of the first and interlock your fingers. Lean over the chest with your arms straight down. OK, now you do it. Place the heel of one hand on the center of the chest. Place the heel of the other hand on top of the first and interlock your fingers, just as Ashraf is doing. And now, with your arms straight, push down and then let the chest rise all the way back up again. Are you pushing straight down? Don't worry about making mistakes. This is just practice. Make sure that the heel of your hand is in the center of the chest. Try leaning further over the mannequin if you don't hear a click. And remember to keep your arms straight. If you're pushing hard enough, you'll hear a click. All right, you've just done one of the most important parts of CPR, pumping blood around the body. First, let's push on the chest just like we did before. Put the heel of your hand on the center of the mannequin's chest. Lock your fingers together. Keep your elbows straight and push the chest down at least five centimeters. Do this 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Push on the chest again thirty times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty. Are you pushing down at least five centimeters? Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Make sure you push hard and fast on the chest. Keep doing sets of thirty pushes on the chest until someone else can take over. How do you know if the person really needs you to push on their chest in the first place? Watch us for a moment. Let's say we've just arrived at a scene where someone's collapsed. After making sure it's safe to approach your casualty, the first thing you should do is gently shake the person's shoulders and shout something. Hello, can you hear me? If the person doesn't move or wake up, they're unconscious and we'd better shout for help. Shout loudly to try to attract attention. If someone is nearby, ask them to wait. You may need their help. Help, I need some help over here. Call an ambulance and get a defibrillator. Tell them this person is unconscious and not breathing. If no one's around, you'll have to call for an ambulance yourself. Ambulance service, please. I have someone who's not breathing. The operator will ask you some important questions so that help can be sent quickly and to the right place. If possible, use the speaker option on your phone. The emergency operator can usually coach you through the steps of CPR, so do not hang up the phone unless you are told to do so. OK, now you try. Make sure you practice all of the steps. You have just found someone who has collapsed. It's safe to approach, so gently shake the person's shoulders and shout. Are you all right? Can you hear me? The person doesn't move or wake up. Shout for help, loudly. Help! I need some help over here. OK, that's good. Call an ambulance and get a defibrillator. Tell them this person is unconscious and not breathing. After you've called for an ambulance or have sent someone else to call, start pushing on the chest. Just like you did before, put your hands in the center of the mannequin's chest. Keep your elbows straight and push the chest down at least five centimeters. Do this 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 30, 40. Allow the chest to rise back up completely between compressions. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Thirty more pushes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep nine, your arms ten, straight 11, as you push. 30, it makes 40, it a lot easier. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Continue pushing on the chest 30 times for as long as you can until help arrives or the casualty starts to breathe normally again. For practice, now that you've learned this very simple life-saving skill, we'll do it together all the way through the steps of CPR. This time Emily will run through the procedure with you. Are you ready? Begin. Hello? Are you all right? Can you hear me? Help! I need some help over here. I need you to call an ambulance and get a defibrillator. Tell them this person is unconscious and not breathing. Start pushing on the chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your arms straight as you push. It makes it a lot easier. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Help has arrived and has taken over doing the CPR. Now we'll turn off the clicking sound so that you get to practice without any help from the mannequin clicker. Push the tab in completely. Let's go through the whole sequence again, from discovery till the arrival of help. Be sure to push hard and fast on the chest. Hello? Are you all right? Can you hear me? Help! I need some help over here. I need you to get an ambulance and a defibrillator. Tell them this person's unconscious and not breathing. Start pushing on the chest. Do it along to the beat of the music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are you pushing down at least five centimeters? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 more pushes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep your arms straight as you push. It makes it a lot easier. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Allow the chest to rise back up completely between compressions. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. OK, well done. You're doing brilliantly. If you get tired, then get someone else to take over and you can show them how it's done. So there you have it, CPR in all its basic life-saving simplicity. That wasn't so bad, was it? Now you know how to give immediate help to an adult whose heart has stopped beating. The real beauty of this is, if you come across a child who needs CPR, you can use the same techniques quite safely. However, there is a small change you can learn for doing CPR on children, which we cover in another chapter of this DVD. You'll also find information there on how to use a defibrillator and how to put someone in the recovery position, all potential life-saving skills. Let's hope you never have to use CPR. But if a situation arises when help is needed, don't hesitate, you know what to do. If you see an adult who has collapsed, go ahead and do the other skills. Check for responsiveness, shout for help, 
check for normal breathing, phone for an ambulance, and keep pushing on the chest hard and fast. That's better than doing nothing at all. Please don't just stand around thinking someone else can do it better or that you're going to mess it up. If in doubt, when you call for an ambulance, they can talk you through CPR if you're unsure or have forgotten anything. Remember, a person who has stopped breathing cannot get better without immediate help. And now you know how to provide that help. Thanks for your time. We really hope you feel more confident now about helping someone in an emergency. All you need to do is remember, call, push, rescue. Now when someone asks you, what did you do today? Give them this kit so that they can learn CPR too.